In order to curb the spread of COVID-19, while encouraging travel to help stimulate the tourism product, Antigua and Barbuda has agreed to develop traveling protocols as part of the travel bubble to lower the risk of the virus spreading. The requirement got to the ground. Various Caribbean states have sought to put different interpretations on it, and so we have to give our, had to give our own deliberation. I think the cabinet would have considered it and we would have, under the guidance from the Minister of Health, and he too was guided by the PAHO and CAFA guidelines. In light of this, Antigua has decided that a negative COVID-19 test result within seven days is a requirement for traveling within the bubble. Additionally, any individual desirous of traveling within the bubble must have been resident in the originating country for 14 days or more. However, these visitors will be required to adhere to safety protocols. I imagine that those will be ready for publication early in the new week, certainly before our next cabinet meeting. Um, so until that time, we are going to be operating on the basis that the uh, travel bubble um, uh, would be operating as enunciated by myself just now and that the regulations will follow. The minister also added the U.S. Centers for Disease Control has branded Antigua as Category 3, which has affected our tourism product. From the governorship of the state of New York, they had considered Antigua to be a high-risk country and accordingly had indicated that uh, persons who were returning to the United States to New York via New York from Antigua would be required to undergo 14-day quarantine. Um, obviously, that had a tripping effect on the persons who were booking vacations to come to Antigua. Kim Emanuel Baird, ABS News.